Next, we're going to learn about three more very useful functions. The average function, the mean function, and the max function. The student's worksheet displays Despinas, Costasis, and Stelius's grades on physics, literature, and mathematics. Well, suppose we want to display the average of Despinas' grades in cell G4. The function we're going to use is called average. Just as we've done with the sum function, we start with equals, and then we type the name of the function. And then, enclosed in parentheses, the cell range from where Excel will derive the necessary data. So we type C4, up to E4, and then press Enter. Excel will, ret will return 16. 16 is the average of 15, 16, and 17. Now we'll have to do the same for Costas and Stelius. But we already know how to use the fill handle. Therefore, we are going to bring the mouse pointer to the fill handle and holding the left mouse button down, we drag downwards. Excel will then display the average of Costas' and Stelios' grades. The next example we're going to discuss is more complicated. So, let's navigate to the 2019 worksheet. It displays the sales of uh, 2019 for every month for, of that year. What we want to do is display the total of January sales in cell B18. Therefore, we're going to click into the cell, type equals, the name of the function, sum, and then, enclosed in parentheses, we type the reference of the first cell in the range, this is B4, colon, and the reference of the last cell in the range, this is B15. Then we press Enter, and the total of January sales is 1,315 cars. In the next cell, we are going to type the average function to produce the average of sales. So we type equals average, which is the name of the function, and then again the cell range B4 to B15. We close the parentheses and press Enter. The average is uh, 109.58 and uh, 33. Now we're going to learn about two more functions. The one that returns the maximum and the one that calculates the minimum value within a cell range. Suppose we want to display the highest sale value in January. We select the cell, type equals, and then the name of the function, that's max. Then we simply type the cell range, once again, which is the same, B4 up to B15, enclosed in parentheses, and press Enter. The maximum sales value is 175 and it's uh, displayed in this cell here. In the same way, we're going to use the next function to display the minimum value of the cell range in this cell here. Therefore, we select the cell, we type equals, and then the name of the function, mean. We open a parenthesis and type the cell range, B4 up to B15. We close the parenthesis and press Enter. The minimum sale is 60 and it's displayed in here. As before, we can use the fill handle to fill in the values for the remaining months. Instead of doing it for each cell separately, you will do it for all of them at the same time. We select the cell range B18 up to B22. We click on the fill handle and drag it right up to column M. All values were completed for all months. So we've learned how to use three more functions, the average, the mean and the max functions.